if you, if nothing can exist independent of your perception of it, in terms of your experience, then everything must be reporting to this consciousness that you are. If you are the seer of all these things, including not only things on this side of your eyes, the elemental world and all the different variations it combines to create and to manifest, not only that, but behind the eyes in the world of feelings and thoughts and sensation. And there are certain sensations that are so subtle, we don't know what to call them, we have no words for them. Still, they are perceived in you and by you. We are together with this so far? This which is perceiving, which even perceives perceiving, which even sees seeing. Have I gone too far? That in front of which or whom all functions called experiencing report. That which sees. Seeing and non-seeing it sees. That itself, can it be seen? This is a question. I asked him this question. That which is perceiving, which is somehow looking out from behind those eyes of yours. Because I asked one man, who is looking out from behind those eyes? And he said, conditioning is looking out. I was very pleased to hear. I said, but what sees and knows conditioning is looking out? Then something dropped. He says, Yes, that I, I cannot say. But that which perceives all, both the imaginary and the actual, the physical and non-physical, concepts, thoughts, feelings, sensation, the different zones of time, past, present, future, all this it perceives through the mind and the senses. Can it also be perceived? Can it be seen? This is your question. What is it? First of all, the fact goes before the discovery, actually. The fact is, all this is perceived. That is the fact. We cannot argue. If you did not perceive it, it has not entered your consciousness. So that which is perceiving, even in this moment. Hmm? Can it be perceived? Is it tangible? Is it physical or non-physical? Can it be discovered like, Aha! Eureka! I found it! If it can be found, by whom can it be found? It must be a more purer consciousness than it. But it perceives the purity of consciousness and impurities in consciousness. Where will the answer or the insight or the revelation come from to respond to this question? Don't listen to me with your head and sit there and wait for, to see who is going to get it first. I am talking to you who hear me. Yes. Then uh, this is your call. Look. Look. There is no more final question than this. There is no more ultimate question than this. Perhaps this is one, if not the most ultimate question possible for a human being who is in search for original truth.
Will the seeker survive this question? Do you feel threatened by such a question? Or that, listen, you're not even going to go there. Maybe your mind goes, we're not going there. Muji, tell a story or something now. Let's just, yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just take the pot off the fire. Tell a story. You, I like when you tell stories. Tell the one about when you were in Brixton. But this one, no, no, we don't want to this one right now. Who wants this question? Yeah. Just fine. Don't worry, you're not going to spontaneously combust or something. Sometimes mind goes, oh, you know, I'm gonna disappear and what will my children eat? Don't be afraid. This question very much has come for you. As I said yesterday, this is the key to your kingdom. The answer already exists and is right here. But who sees? The question is a direct invitation to the recognition you say you came for this, you long for this, to experience what is here. Not to collect what is here, but to experience, to clarify, to, to die as ego, and to be left as you truly are. We are not creating anything new. You are only discovering what is timeless. Everything you have known so far is of time. You say, you say that yes, I keep coming back again. Why you come back? I keep coming back to this question. Why you leave? To have to come back. Why you leave? I keep coming back. Maybe something just wants to be a tourist here. When I'm feeling down and really I'm tired of life, I come here and I meditate on this question. Then when I feel good, I go out. The answer, if you want to call it an answer, I don't call it an answer, except in saying that you must you are the answer to your question. But not the you as your mind can conceive or your mind can imagine. Imagination will not do. Nobody has ever imagined realization. Or maybe they do, I don't know. But it will not last. Whatever is to be found, which is true, is already here. It's not going to come in from some place. It's not going to come in from Kailash. It's not going to come in from Arunachala. Special delivery, take away. No, it's not going to come. It's going to come from inside. In fact, it's not going to come. Something is going to leave. Are you up for this? <laughs> 